with Miko about the Lakelanders or the Batnumi. Okay, uh, morning of Vine the tenth. The weather outside is uh, is uh, summer, uh, late fall, summer, or sorry, late late summer, early fall kind of uh, thunderstorm. It kind of forces people a little bit inside. Um, we'll say that Oberon has bought some incense. <laughs> <laughs> that's now burning throughout the uh, burning throughout Sailor Wormbine. Uker's now happy with the fluffy the fluffy dogs that he the fluffy good smelling dogs that he's now got. <laughs> um, Lemio has shared his his uh, the information that he got from Miko. Gallop that morning's just brushing Ten Center, but keeping him just inside the uh, inside the. Um, uh, Sailor Wormbine, Azildan, you you got you, Azildan when so the the villagers treat this place almost like Hotel Hero. Uh, they they come by and they replace the food that you guys eat. They change your linens. You're pretty sure if you left laundry on the floor, they would do your laundry for you. It does mean that there's a significant amount of traffic that comes into Sailor Wormbine, and you do notice that some people just come to, like, pretend to pray to the gods, give offerings, but it's almost like they like being near the heroes. <laughs> they, li they like just yeah. kind of giving you, like, like the nod of hello in the morning, and they're like, look at me, I'm praying. <laughs> some of them might actually be praying, but um, <laughs> uh, uh, not as much traffic this day with its raining. You had some people run through the rain uh, to deliver baskets of, of fresh bread and milk. Um, maybe some people to come in and clean out like chamber pots and that sort of thing. But it, it's actually a quiet day in Silver Wormbine on the tenth. I have a question, and uh, it's more of a player question. Uh, Bite Handelstein, what the hell is that? Number five on the map. It's outside the walls. Bit Handelstein. Um, this is a uh, a farmer's market. Okay. It's got it's some of the little shops and that sort of thing. Uh, it, it's almost like um, the very brisk trade from farms that come around go, goes on here outside of it. Uh, Bit Handelstein kind of, it's like the stone of trading, I believe, is what it uh, it trends. Okay. So 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 Azildan went to the market and he's like, "What the heck is this place?" Yep, uh, pretty much. Yeah, like, they've, oh. they've they've rebuilt the little hovels that got destroyed by the orc attack, and uh, and people are are doing brisk trade. Of course, there are a lot of people. Isildin realizes that are a little more destitute. Um, there are like refugees from the surrounding areas that have uh, that have suffered at the edge of the orc attacks. Like from the first day that you came here, there are more people in Runeshad. Okay, um, Isildin. And then uh, you also should notice a, a stupid amount of silver coins uh, pasted to your character sheets. This is the yeah. divvying that that Lokrik and, and Oberon have done from the Silver Fang Horde that you dragged back on Treasure Wolf. Um, uh, and um, Does the little wolf puppy, is she afraid of silver? Uh, are you going to do tests? Well, if there's a lot on me, and I spend a lot of time with a dog. Okay, well, it doesn't, like, it doesn't act weird around the silver. Are you going to start pushing silver coins no. onto it or anything like no. that? Like, okay, nope, right. nope. Yeah. Eat um, this! <laughs> no! Uh, so, the dog uh, didn't yeah. like eating metal. Weird. <laughs> Sorry, Mark, go ahead. So, is it, like, the, the poor... The refugees, I'm guessing, is more what they are. Yep, they're from fr yep. surrounding. Um, they're from surrounding uh, farmsteads and places that have been burned out. Okay, Azildin, and what are they living in? Like shacks or tents or it's the street, um, in the overhangs of buildings. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We didn't know this. <laughs> um, Azildin, no. Um, oh, so it's kind of hard to see where they're living in when you're walking around during the day. They might go inside, but a lot of them are just kind of hanging out on the outside of buildings and that sort of thing. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, Zildin's gonna spend the 
night with these people. Uh, Marty, yep. um, how much did we realize this in the morning or at night? This is a Zildan spending time amongst the people. Yeah, but I was at the I was at the um, I was at the bar last night. Would I have heard anything about this? Uh, the people that are at the bar are people that can afford to drink. Okay, so on my way back, did I see like? Then that's what I'm wondering. I'm, I mean, you must have you. seen. You must have seen like signs of it, right? Yep. Um, well, we'll just see what Azildin's uh, reaction to this is because oh, you already had yeah, your sorry. you already had your uh, cool your little spotlight. No um, so um, okay, um, he's going to. Uh, I don't know how much I've got gold on me. You've got a ton of silver. Y yeah, he'll basically go to like how many home like refugees are we talking about? Um, give me a second. Probably around 100, 150. Uh, okay, he'll basically go to each stall and ask how much for everything. Oh, are you buying what little wares they have? Yep. Some of the, some of them don't have anything. Uh, there are a hundred. There are a little bit over a hundred refugees. Some of okay. them just have the clothes on their backs. Uh, no, but I thought this was like a farmers market. Oh, the farmers market. Uh, they're hanging around on the, on the edges of the farmers market. The people yes. who actually are selling. He, okay. He goes to the farmers oh, market. I get what you're saying. Uh, food. Okay, you could spend probably as much money as you wanted on food. Um, if you want to feed a hundred people, you probably need at least a hundred silver. Okay, he's going to spend a hundred silver. Okay. Uh. I, oh, yeah, actually, he's going to make. He wants everything. So you buy all the food that's available in the farmer's market that day. Yeah, and, and ask, the, ask them to load it up in their carts and drop it over there. <laughs> okay, there's, a, there's almost a small festival, and there are people that are actually coming up and hugging Azildan as he, as he spent uh, 200 silver to feed 100 people that day. Okay. And, um, he tells, and he tells the farmers, if you have more, come back tomorrow and I'll buy it. Okay. Uh, Azildan is doing good works. Um, and he spends the night with these people because he realizes they're out on side the walls, and that's not cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, wait. The, so you spend the night with them. The, the farmers and people in the market do pack up, and everyone comes into the walls. The refugees are allowed in the walls, but they don't necessarily have places to stay in town. Oh. They stay in the edges of hovels. Some of them are actually invited in while, the, while there, there are groups of them that just try to find places to sleep kind of in the overhangs of buildings. Okay. Um, I can do little about that. And there, Oberon will have a fit if I take him in a sort of worm by. Whatever. Um... Uh, you I'm do notice wrong. that some of them do go into the temple of Heimdall, but you get the sense that they might be worshippers of Heimdall that are going okay. there. Uh, Miko has taken some people in, but the but the uh, but the inn is the inn and tavern is packed. Oh. Okay. And then Mike was off. Son of a bitch. I was just saying talk to Lemmy, you dumb bastard. Last time you saw Lemmy he was Casting spells to feed people in the other town. Yeah, they're all fed though. Nah, but you yeah, never mind. Okay. All right. So, so Azildan's done his good works, but then he realizes that you know people do get hungry each and every day. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, Oberon's going to spend his time waiting for the full moon by crafting his um, uh, his his bag of holding. Uh, Lokrik goes and buys some masterwork manacles and gives them to the party. He bought two sets, one for himself and one for you guys, and he kind of left them on the table, you know, for Uker, I guess. They'll probably be snapped, but... <clears throat> yeah. I think Uker's going to replace one of the manacles with a broken set of manacles and however much manacles cost. Okay. Uh, do you guys just want to fast forward time to the day of the full moon, or do you have other prep? No, no. Lemmy wants to do something. Does he hear about the the um, state of the people? 
from uh, Zildan tell him, or is Zildan quiet about his? Uh... No, during oh, the he... next day, we he... find out about the festival. Yeah, well, I, they didn't throw a festival. They, they there was a festival you, like you period of activity. About as, as Zildan passed around. Uh, sure, you heard about it. <laughs> okay, so Lemmy's going to. Um, he's, I'm going to do a couple of things. And where is that spell? Um, three stone people shape. per level. Oh, stone shape. Okay. So stone shape. So he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna create a bunch of he's gonna use a bunch of stone shapes. Yep. To make, uh, to basically carve into the stones. A uh, and th these are the, let me give me a sec here. I just want to make sure these are standard actions. So I can cast eight of these a day. Uh, using my mythic points. So what you're, I'm going to do? Creating a stone table somewhere? Not tables. I'm creating oh, like. He's making I'm, caves. I'm, I'm making caves. Where? Places for them to sleep. Here, in these stones. Here, here, on the inside. Here, here, here. Like all of these stones. Okay. okay. Uh, on the first day when, when you start doing this, your first stone shape, there's a guard that walks up to you, Lemmy. Mm-hmm. Um, hello? What are you Hi, doing Dave. there? Um, well, I'm creating a place for these people to sleep. They're gonna die like this. Um, please stop that. Hmm. Sergeant. The Lord might have a... The the pro the Lord might Sergeant. have a problem with it. And pretty soon you've got a bunch of soldiers standing around asking you what you what are you doing to our walls? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Hmm. Fair enough. My apologies, gents. I think I'll do this on the outside. Yep. And by outside I'm pointing to that. Please There we go. Please don't touch our stones. Uh give me a, give me a diplomacy check. Right, I explained to them that I'm helping the people that are living here. What people? I expected this to happen. Uh, 14... Was it please just all about your defenses? <laughs> uh, eighteen. Okay, um... They want you hey, to those... come... They, they want you to come with them. 1d6. <laughs> 20. Uh, they managed to get word to their captain, who is somebody that you know and is a much more friendly ear uh, than these guards, and you know him as um, uh, one of the Rodericks. Uh, he previously did training with Sildan. And I can't find his... Oh, yes. I can't find his uh, miniature anywhere. Give me a second. Tokens. Is it in the? Is it in the Earl's house? Maybe he had he had a he had an interesting name. Um, what was his name? Roderick Grath, and then there was Cursed Grath. Yeah, there he is. Got him. What's the meaning of this? Ah, oh, uh, troll captain. Uh, ah, cursed. Let me was, was was doing something to the stone. Um, I noticed it and. He was starting to make holes. And Curse sends the soldiers away. What's the problem, Lemmy? Well, the problem is with all the poor folks that are living underneath the sky. They've got nothing now. Got a lot of people that are flocking in, no place to live. They're, they're gonna die. I was hoping to make a couple of places, a couple of hovels here for them to sleep under. I mean, seek some shelter from the the weather. He looks at your first spell. So basically, your first spell moved how many cubic feet he of needs, stone? He needs ten of them per five foot cube. Okay, so yeah, he's he started making a, a hole here. These stones have ever been part of the defenses of Runeshod. Why uh, do you want to hollow them? Just to create shelter for the people they're supposed to protect. But I see, I see your concern. I see the concern of you and your guards. Um, is it a concern if I use 
if I make some shelter over there and perhaps over there. What do you got? These people must find their way. While we'll we'll help them as much as we can, but these people are free to leave to go back to their homes. Some of them remain because they're too weak to go and rebuild. Hmm, good point. Um, what day is it, Marty? The 10th? Yes. No, it's okay. the... Uh, Zildan feeds the people on the 10th. It's now the 11th. Okay, so... Uh, can I re-push another spell to refill that hole in? Yep, you can move the stone around, kind of. I'll put it back. Okay. Um, what is it that you're trying to do? Are you trying to help these... the poor people that have failed to defend their homes? Uh, Lemmy gives him a... An, he raises an eyebrow. Let's not forget that they failed to defend their homes against something that was going to destroy yours. They weren't expecting us around. I'm glad we came when we did. And I'm glad that you're here to, to guide your men as you have and are. But remember, those poor folks are out there. They did not have the defenses that you had. Don't shame them. Okay. He, he nods at that. He thinks about your words. And he takes, without the earshot of, his, of the rest of his men, the young Cursed Grath takes your, uh, takes your wise counsel under consideration. Give me a diplomacy uh -huh. check with Cursed. Twenty. Why can't I roll? <laughs> I can't roll. Twenty's, Twenty's still good. He's, he's still a friendly. I heard what Azildan did the other day. Buying up all the crops and feeding the poor. Very mm. noble. I did not realize that this is the state of things. I also heard some of the complaints from those who went to market to buy some food and there was none. Is there is there oh, a shit. missing <laughs> is is there a need for food right now? So go steal it, you thieves. <laughs> As he's currently waging econo terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> I would caution you from doing this on a regular basis. The people that are weak will be helped in the ways that we can. All right. Can I ask you to keep an to keep not an eye on them, but at least let us know if if their numbers are going down or if any have perished or close to perishing. I'm not I'm not pleased with having anyone perish when I'm around. I did hear what you did for the village of Cologe. Yeah, you know, Did you buy food from here to feed them, or did you use I magic? Just, I just use magic. I don't think anyone aside from a, a few priests might be annoyed at you creating magic to feed the or using magic to feed the poor. It's not a permanent solution, but it'll get us through the days for now. Nor is having all of these farmers here in town. They need to be back in their fields. Well, without any food to sell, I'm sure they're out picking up some more. The Lord has said that the heroes would solve the orc problem. Is this not true? It is true. But the orc problem is... The orcs are not... The orcs are a part of the problem. They seem to have motorcycles. I summoned the 26 orcs. motorcycles. <laughs> <laughs> the orcs. Six of them. Shit. <laughs> if it was that simple, it would have already be solved. We're on the way. We are taking care of the problem. It's just there are things that we need to do and get before in order to take care of that problem. Well, the gods and the rune and and the folk of Runeshard will take care of the people that come here. We can't give Nuts. them all of our food, but we'll give them what we can. Then, can I ask you to let me know when there is a shortage? Do it in secret, just to not not to put you in 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 any harm's way. There's a shortage, but it's not it's not bad yet. 
the longer the orcs are out there raiding, the more people will come here, and the more dire it will be come winter. All right. Um, then I'll do. Then I'll do what I have. To, I'll do what I do best. Then. Thanks again. Um, sorry for any problem, and um, thanks for your advice. Next time you want to play with the city walls, come to me first. He nods. Um, or any of the other stones in town. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Kirst. Um, Lemmy's going to tell... Um, Thanks, asshole. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to send Dane Kinder back to... Uh, he's going to ride Dane Kinder back. Yep. I'm going to go scout to the north. There's still some time left for us to do whatever. I'm going to go scout and look for more arcs. If I run into those dire wolf orc riding bastards... Wait. Yeah? Then I'll... Who are you I'll telling you us in. to? This is the, the group. Okay. So you're gonna so spend you're, you're gonna spend three days scouting to the north. Yeah, Earth Elemental. Off you go, buddy. Woo. Actually, um, bird. So you're gonna go up by yourself as a bird and just fly around the north looking for orcs. Well, we knew where they were going, right? And check on the other town. No, there are two towns. One was being uh, got. That's yeah, we should check on the one we sent werewolves to. I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> Is this something that you want to do alone, or you want to do with party members, or...? Um... Just do it alone. You're a bird. Uh, I was hoping to just do it real quick. Like, they're over there. We can go deal with them real quick. Okay, so we're, we're going to do this with downtime rules, because you're kind of hogging the spotlight right now, so... Um, yeah, exactly. Um, give me real a... Quick character level check to go scouting as a bird and what's the purpose of your scouting? It's not to visit everywhere, it's to... No, no, it's, it's to, to look for orcs. Life, to look for orcs. Look for okay. orcs and right. uh, look for uh, any other dangers that I can deal with. <laughs> okay? No, it's to Ready? look for dangers and come back or look for dangers and then we're rolling for initiative and then you, you then you hijack the game for, for three hours. No, 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 no. Okay. We're, we're coming back with a report. Okay. Thirteen. All right. Hey, roll the seven. How many days? You, how many days are you spending doing this? Two days. So this is the thirteenth. Yeah, this is this is Marty. Obviously, not enjoying when party members try to do solo adventures. Uh, no, no, no. This is just a reporting. Like, yep. it's it's a smart thing to do. It's just I'm I'm giving you clue by four that Lemio scouts um, the north of Runeshad. For two days. Um, yeah, uh, and, and for the viewers, the, the reason why you see Marty got just briefly annoyed there was that we do have a um, um, a code of conduct, and one of the code, one of the parts of the code of conduct that we all agreed to is that adventuring is a team sport, or something along those lines. <laughs> so when you start pushing, this is it a scouting. Along, yeah. Okay. A scouting mission, not a. Uh, uh, not a give me a, give me a, another D twenty roll, just a straight D twenty roll. Okay. Six. I'm telling you, <laughs> look at my fucking rolls. All right. So you scout in the vicinity of um, um, Cologne, and the area north along that river. You scout all the way to a river crossing and back. You saw a castle. You saw a road that leads into the mountains, and you saw a valley. In, into those mountains, you did not see any um, orcs in that territory for your two days of scouting. Okay. Now bring that back. Okay. That's it. Um, 13th of Vine is the day before the full moon. Mm hmm. Um, Oberon finishes his, uh, finished creating his bag. Uther busts a set of shackles without even using any mythic powers or spells. So the <laughs> masterwork shackles just. Uh, and then I put down 500 silver pieces on the table <laughs> with the shackles. <laughs> Make them better. Who <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> <We> did this? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Let me raise his arm up. Uh, Uker just wants to take an inventory of the statues in Sailor Mornbine. Sure. He's specifically looking... Well, he's looking for anything that would be interesting to him. He's looking for... Is there a Wolfman statue? Is there a Bearman statue? Is there a, any other anthropomorphic hero? Are there any animal some statues? Of the, some of the gods have animals near them. For example, you're pretty sure that this one's Odin, and he's got two ravens. How many eyes do the ravens have? Um, one of them is missing one eye. Give them a dirty look. Okay. <laughs> um, some of the other gods might have had pigs. <laughs> Okay. But it, it's almost like they were carved into the side of, uh, of their of their very blocky statues, almost like an afterthought. Um, the statues of the gods were really blocky. The heroes are the ones that you're you're a little more interested in. Yeah. Um, and the one that really shocks you when you kind of move some of the statues around and find him is that there's a statue of Grolf. It's little. It's a statuette. It's only about this big. But but you but you see him hunting, and he's got his blade kind of like put down like a spear, and he, he's he's looking around for things. But it's definitely Grolf. Uh, he's going to put that one on um, the. Uh... Sorry, I'm having a derp moment. Um... On the Gezar's statue, he's going to sort of. Just... Okay. So you put him near <clears throat> near Gezar's Gezar's statue yeah. that you took the cloak from. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna take a quick peek at this, like just try to take note of the stuff. Is it like human Grolf or is it Wolfman? Grolf? It's human Grolf, but he's wearing a a a, um, a wolf cloak, and you're pretty sure it's the same wolf cloak that is in. On someone's character sheet, I think. Um, oh, John. I think I think you're wearing it, uh, Uger. Hey guys, sorry it's late. I got an emergency call to fix a server downtown. You fixed the shit out of that server, bitch. Cool. Um, <laughs> well, it works now, so I don't know if, yeah. if, I, if I fixed it, but uh. So is your internet better now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. It's uh. No, I actually figured out what's causing the problem. There's a IP. Conflict happening. <laughs> Shut I know, up, right? Ahmed. <laughs> I know, but I but but the weird part is that even though it's reporting an IP conflict, I can't find I can't Blue find devices. where it is. Yeah, I can't. So I just shut down the, like one of the other computers in the house, and it seems to work fine. Okay, um, that evening, which is the evening of uh, of the thirteenth, the moon is very full and pregnant in the sky on the verge. Um, of do we want to do um, Luker? Sir Gallus and Loker getting? Yes, yes, we do. Okay, getting a room. Getting whoa, 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 whoa. piles of gold. <laughs> so, so on the tenth of um, uh, on the tenth, this is the day after you return from Acropolis. Um, Loker and you had wandered over to uh, uh, the Shield House to go basically get accommodations for Loker um, a couple days from now. Uh, in the shield house, uh, Ingrid is not there. Uh, you do see Roderick Grath talking to uh, Bubtar Shabugamu. Uh, Wait, why do we need... That is the best name, by oh, the way. Oh, right, because Lokrik. Right, I got you. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Sir Galath, you notice that Bubtar's snotty nose is returned. He, he's, he's like, he's like... He's got like a cup of snot in his... in his, uh, in, uh, in a handkerchief, and, um... Roderick's just looking at him. And then, uh, I said that, um, um, that you should behave because you're a prisoner and I'm prison guard. Uh-huh. <laughs> Roderick, Roderick's only half paying attention to him writing in a book. And then he said, uh, he said, um, um, that, um, that my mother was a pig. I heard that one before. That one is really, um, that one is really old. Orc pig, come on. Yes, it's <laughs> fascinating, Bubtar. And, and then, and then I, I, Hello, Bubtar. I, I threatened him with, 
with violence. I threatened him. <laughs> Sir Gallith. Oh, Sir Gallith showed me the light. Redemption. Hello, Gallith. Uh, Lokrik. Roderick. Uh, what can I do you gentlemen for? I think we're going to need to set up a temporary stay for Lokrik here. Oh, is Lokrik your prisoner, Gallith? No, no, no. Lokrik's not a prisoner, Bubtar. He's... He's sick. Bubtar is, like, looking at his own snot and trying to find a place to wipe it on. I'm gonna lay on hands, Bubtar, real quick. Oh, I like this stuff that flows out of his nose and then he, can, he breathes in and out. I can breathe again. I got sick again. Well, be careful, Bubtar. Make sure you stay mm. clean. That's how you get sick, you know. Mm. That and the flowers. Flowers? Oh, orcs don't like flowers here on Vosgard. Everyone well, flowers make you sick. Yep. Oh. Flowers in the trees and the grasses. <clears throat> Not enough ash, if you ask me. Hmm. Mm. Speak to the old ladies down on the other side of the village. They might be able to help you with that. What good are old ladies? They know secrets, like I do. Oh. Oh. Just tell them I sent you and be nice. Okay. <laughs> he looks to Roderick, mm. who just shrugs. Um, you want me to go now? But I've got my duties. Go on your no. off time to speak to old ladies if you want, Bubtar. Okay. I That's do my Bubtar. rounds now. Okay, Bubtar. Redemption. Redemption. And he goes down into the, goes down into the uh, <laughs> into the jail cells. Uh, Roderick. We're he's concerned about Lokrik. Quite diligent at his job, I must say. And Good. he's only accepted a private's um, wages. He says that he's on a quest for redemption. And how has he been behaving? Does he treat the prisoners well than you might expect from an orc? Uh, yes. Good. The orcs that you brought us a while back were very unruly. I assume judgment has been passed upon them? Yes, they've been moved um, to an eastern province to do hard labor. Fair, I think. Fair that they undo some of the damage they've caused. Yes, um, we have a shortage as many men are off... Um, um, Raiding, he says. Is there yes. something specific I can do for you? What? What is this about? Lokrik needing a um, a room. We're going to need to keep him confined for a few days coming up. I do have a a cell. It's a sturdy yes. door and a. And a fine lock, if you ask me. There are some rings in the cell that you can bind someone to. But I don't know why we'd want to put your friend in fetters, should I be concerned. Not unduly. Show me the cell. Mm, okay, give me a diplomacy check. These people are all your friends, you saved their town, but, you know do this without explanation is kind of god damn it I didn't become a paladin to explain myself <laughs> <laughs> don't like, you see uh, my shiny armor <laughs> I didn't this become a paladin at all <laughs> this is all the explanation I need my feet is my <laughs> shield my sword is my explanation get out of my way <laughs> surrender <laughs> surrender <laughs> <laughs> It's my lance called Surrender. Uh, a little bit paladin, a little bit noble. 29. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, so he's like, yeah, sure. He fucking gets up, grabs a key, um, um, goes downstairs. You can see Bubtar um, standing there, officious-like, staring at a prisoner with his arms crossed. Mm. The threat is what he says. <laughs> the prisoner's looking at the orc. <laughs> He's, he's staring down this uh, uh, this guy in rags. 
Gallus just gives Votar a nod and uh, goes to insp- inspect the cell. Uh, Lokrik, what do you think about this? Mm. Does it look sturdy enough for you? I suppose the shackles should do. And he, he actually hands over the Masterwork shackles, shackles to Roderick and then hands Gallus the key. We'll be back on the 14th. So you would like me to keep the cell empty then, until then? If you could, please. If the refugees, if the farmers that are here in town um, don't cause any problems, I'll stick them in the other cell with um, with eight-fingered Henry. Ask him why they call him eight-fingered Henry. Eight-fingered Henry? Yes, um... He was a local thief. Oh. He was warned several times before. He, he Sounds holds, like he holds twice. Up, he holds up his <laughs> finger and takes off two, like, takes off his two, uh, um... He's lucky thingies. he still has both of his arms. Mm. He was young enough that he had time to reform. He's got a streak of Loki through him, definitely. Very well. We'll be back on the 14th. Thank you for your help, Roderick. Um, is this something... Do I need to post extra guards? Uh, this is highly irregular. We'll take care of guarding. Okay. With a 20- we'll explain more upon the day. He's He's fine with that. And apparently he's got other things to worry about as this as the shield house is not only the 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 jail cell but it's also the barrack for the um, uh, for the town guard as well as patrols so he's got a lot on his plate um, he goes back and shows you where the key goes to the cell and he puts it back on a on like a nail on the wall um, and bids you good day good day Roderick um we should t- we should have a chat at some point in time about uh, the orc movements. I'd very much like to hear what it is that you found on your uh, foray north. There's a lot of reports that are coming in as to how should they put it that Uker created a trail. We've got <laughs> we've got questions as to whether or not this trail is safe to travel and where it leads. As far as my scouts have been able to ascertain, it leads into uh, the Raven's Perch Mountains. Um, it's usually a place beyond where we <coughs> normally patrol. Those ravens are... Some of the ravens are the ravens of the gods, you see. And to go over that place is to enter into wolf territory. The territory of the Esclave people. Or more, more so the Raven Esclave. Spirit worshippers and followers of strange gods our people do not mix well with them we found wolf men in the mountains wolf men yes men who could become wolves or wolves that become men I'm not entirely certain werewolves he looks concerned Okay, he nods. We slayed them to the last. He looks relieved. <laughs> but they win one of us. Can he He's do concerned. one plus one? <laughs> <laughs> no, apparently he doesn't know enough about it being a curse or a disease, but he's heard, right. he's probably heard stories of like savage men turning into wolves. <clears throat> right. It's, it sounds like the work of the Raven Esclav, or the Esclav people. They worship spirits and sacrifice people to fell gods. They do not know the worship of the Odin Salmon. They are not civilized. Certainly not. But in any case, that road should be as safe to travel as any other road. Hmm. Perhaps when the warriors return from the south, I will send a patrol up there to see where it is that you went. Anything interesting at the end of the road? Or along the trail? Just, just some caves. That's where we found the wolves denning. Give me a bluff check. 
as you guys are obfuscating the fact that there's a silver mine at the end of the road. Actually, that completely... Yeah, I completely forgot about that. Um, Oops. Oh, well. Uh, Loker rolls a 2, so he doesn't aid. 20. It should have been higher than 2. 20, okay. So he... If you forgot, then it was a live emission and um, um, an accidental live emission. Uh, Lokrik just didn't say anything, and he didn't. Roderick didn't seem to pick up the fact that Lokrik kind of looked away <laughs> when. Yeah, Lokrik might have designs in the mind for the for the dwarves and not for the people of Runeshad. Um, That's fair. What yeah. dwarf-like mining? What is this? Yeah, this is like nonsense. Something? Yes. <coughs> Natural enemy of werewolf, mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of like halfway between the two places too. So there might be a right. silver rush, um, which is a weird goddamn thing to fallout. say about New Vegas. Silver rush, feel the warm. Oh, is that a thing in a game? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> there's a radio commercial for an energy weapon store called Silver Rush. Okay. Oh. Um. I did not. Um, I did not mean to overhear, but uh, uh, Bob, Bobtar, good, good guard, and uh, Bobtar, um, work double shift or triple shift even if you need him to guard. Guard for Gallus, who makes Bobtar breathe good. Redemption. Talk to Roderick about that, Bobtar. Mm. If we need your help. I'm sure one of us will tell you. Will come tell you. So, Roderick, do they need help for me to uh, uh, go and guard for them? Double shift, maybe triple. Uh, sure. You can work with them when they come back here on the fourteenth. Mm. Bubtar will be here. Roderick's Thank thoughts. you, Bubtar. Oh, oh, oh. He <laughs> he seems to not know what to do with your. <laughs> Thank you. See, what he was expecting was for you to backhand him upside the face <laughs> he, and to tell him he's a he, moron. He like he like <laughs> looks around like, "What do I do with thank you?" Almost like the thank you is a physical thing. Loker just backs out of the. I think there might be some racial hatred there. He just moves away. Roderick. <laughs> he he just time. nods to Roderick and and he leaves. I'll see you on the fourteenth. Your pet seems to be working out all right. Hmm, it's an interesting experiment. Lokrik Loc doesn't bug you about it because it seems. I to hope be he doesn't. Out. I hope he doesn't disappoint. It'd be good to know that there's some righteousness in their hearts. Just remember what the Orc Neskar represent. These are the descendants of those that broke a kingdom's back. The Lakelanders never quite recovered from the orc invasion. And these people are next if the next wave of orc come. And One cannot be held responsible for the sins of their fathers. Hmm. I suppose not. So long as he stays on the path of... Not evilness. Look, look, In any case, he seems. He seems. Genuinely interested in pursuing redemption, whatever that might mean to him. Alright. <laughs> the morning of the 14th. The shock quality runs out on the lance. Man, I didn't get to use it. Fuck. I don't mark that off. What are you guys doing? As the moon is growing large in the sky. Right? It is full, Look. and it's even partially visible during the day. Look, Rick. Let's see you. With, uh... Actually, let's... Let's get Lokrik in the let's get Lokrik set up and then we'll go take Uker. Or let's I'll take do it actually the other I'll, way. Take, <laughs> I'll take Uker first. He wants to come along. Who can fly? 
just in case. I'll go with you, okay? Right. <coughs> All right. Let's go. Okay. Who are the people that are going to uh, <coughs> um to Acropolis? So let me. Uh, Zildan kind of thought the plan was, you know, drop him off. We'll pick you up in a few days. <laughs> so well, we want to we want to put him in the hole, right? No. <laughs> no, we're just gonna leave him there. Yeah. What's he gonna eat for three days? What do you? Uh, uh, he'll be. There's no animals. Yeah, there are rats and little birds and. Leave him some food, I guess. We didn't worry about the coaddle, did we? <laughs> <laughs> Just always stay flying, never land. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you guys, I, I say we put him, guys. So, so Lemmy's wondering: are, are we going with the hole or not? No. Still, the end of what the plan is: we're just dumping him in a pit somewhere. The pit in the dungeon. Yeah. It, it's up to the bows going. I used, um, used to climb like that and might tire him out. Look, I think it's a good idea. I don't see a reason not to. If he gets out, then he can screw around in Acropolis. But if he doesn't, at least he's still in there. I expect to be fed when I'm in the prison. I'm sure Uker wants to be fed as well. Um, Loker exactly. starts grabbing some sacks of food. I want to see... <clears throat> you want to what? It's just darkness and home. Oh, right. Um. Um. Do those remember those uh, <clears throat> those candle things that you touch, and they're like they're they're light sources. Would you go and bring Can one these? of them down? Yeah, bring one of those down there. <clears throat> Leave it in the center. Don't you carry a continual light torch, let me He'll break it. <laughs> he like grabs his stick, grabs it. You break my torch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fine, fine, fine. I'm taking your axe if it if it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who's um, so you you gather up food? You have light. Um, who is bringing Uker to Acropolis? Galif will go with. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, I'm going with Uker. Let me. <sighs> Uker. L Loker, I guess. Loker will stay behind. Uker, Uker stashes his heavier gear here in Sailor Wormbine. Okay. Things like the the ring, the, <laughs> the rod, the. <laughs> I don't know. Who's got the charm of lading? <clears throat> it's yeah. on uh, uh, Ukra has the charm okay. and uh, Oryk Cho has the belt let's take it off Oryk Cho put on Ukra yeah okay so Oryk Cho you you come over. Um, describe how you're trying yeah. to get the belt off of him. Put the charm in the belt. Remember. I take the belt. I take the belt off. I'm holding the charm. I'm assuming. Oh, okay. Yeah. You you hold the charm and you're able to snap the belt off. Yeah. <clears throat> this is my assumption. Um, I'll put it on when I'm there. Okay. So the charm of lading is this strange bone with the, the twist of silver in it, and then the um, the belt is this mighty belt with the twist of silver in it, a big uh, wolf's head uh, belt buckle. And you've got both. Uh, and you're leaving your equipment behind? Uh, only, well, I'm bringing my alchemist kit with me. Uh, bringing, like, I'm bringing, I'm, I'm just heavy stuff is being left behind. They okay. can carry my, I don't know what's on the other side of the portals. Got it. And I kind of don't want to take off my gear, so... <laughs> take it off in Acropolis. All right. Um, so uh, Oberon will stay behind with Lokrik. Sir Galath, uh, Lemio, are you bringing uh, Dinkinder or are you leaving Dinkinder behind? No, no, I'm leaving Dinkinder. Okay. 
uh, and then Azildan, are you going or not? No, he's not going. He's going to bring Lokrik to the uh, jail. Okay. And then are you bringing Tensender with you when you go to Acropolis today or not? Yeah. All right. Where I go, the horse goes. Let's do Azildan, Oberon, and Lokrik. This should be quick. Um, okay. You go to the Get shield the house. Okay. Bumtar is there. <laughs> Oh, I've been waiting for you to come. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's, that's nice. You got a jail cell ready. <laughs> uh, Lokrik basically stripped all the way down to just basically uh, un like like a regular clothes. Yeah. Um, uh, he doesn't have any of his gear on him. Like he okay. took off all of his jewelry, all of his all of his stuff, and he's wandered yeah. over. Uh, Bubtar leads him to the to the jail cell nice and clean i i swept it today no shit <laughs> yeah before we uh chain yap you gotta you know go <laughs> what you know do your business oh no that's all right i i went through my morning abolitions is that what you call them all right <laughs> You ready? Yes. Uh, Loker gets put into the jail cell. There's a small bench. You tie basically the manacles to either of his arms that run through a hoop behind his mm -hmm. uh, behind his back. So he's, he he basically can just reach out a little bit, but um, yeah, he could stand up, but then he's got the bench awkwardly in behind, so he just sits down. Mm -hmm. Now I guess we just wait and see. Oh. Bubtar find uh, two other um, uh, stools. You can sit beside Bubtar while we watch prisoner. Apparently, watching prisoner, Bubtar sits there and watches the prisoners. <laughs> after after about five minutes, you do this all day. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Really. <laughs> well, sometimes Bubtar does rounds, and then sometimes Bubtar does go get something to eat. It is fun to see where the prisoner has moved after Bubtar has not seen them for some time. Bubtar has guessing game. Where they're going to have moved, is that what you, you're guessing? Mm-hmm. Bubtar is very good at guessing after watching them. Yeah, I, I, I would imagine that would happen, yeah. That is, um, yeah, I'm, I agree with you. That is fascinating. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's quite a devotion to your craft, Bobtar. Mm. Bobtar is very devoted, yes. <laughs> and quite a craft it is, let me tell you. <laughs> he see. looks at Oberon like, seriously? <laughs> he goes and finds two benches, and you can see just through, like, th there's a there's a tiny, like, uh, bar hole window that looks into the into the very secure jail cell that, 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 uh, that Lokrik's in. Lokrik's just slowly, like, like, tapping hit the back of his head against the wall. Uh, he looks nervous. He might be praying. <laughs> Oh, very strange prisoner you have. It is like he is waiting to um face the headsman's axe, or the or the jangling rope. Oh, he's just hoping for the best. <laughs> they tell you what uh, what to expect. What was his crime? Not that it matter. But Bubtar curious why his friends want him to um. Sit in jail. What? Was he bad? I didn't tell you. No. Did they tell anyone? No. Uh, Sir Gallus said he'd come back and say, but Sir Gallus not here. Well, it's, it's a good thing you mentioned something. Yeah, he's he ain't committing no crime. He's oh. sick, or he might be. Oh. You know what a werewolf is? <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. <What's wolf? laughs> well, if he is one, you're gonna find out very shortly. <laughs> oh. He's looking in. And if he's not, I'll have someone else explain it to you. <laughs> no wolves in there. Nope. Hopefully, it stays that way. Well, there might be one soon, there, Bob Tar. Says Little Crick. Yes, and that's why we have a quiver full of silver arrows. <laughs> 
<laughs> says Oberon. I sure hope that this does not happen. I sure hope that the others are all right. We're gonna die. No, you should just <laughs> dump him in a Acropolis. Uh, yeah, and just I can't say it today. I don't know why. <laughs> Acropolis. Acropolis. <laughs> I can't, I don't know why I can't. Are you say trying it to say it correctly, or are you trying to say it humorously? No, I'm trying to say it correctly. My lips are. Yeah, it's Acropolis. coming across as humorously. It's coming way. across as humorously. <laughs> <laughs> Apocalypse. I don't want to go there. Yeah. Anyway, um, they just jump in there and come back. I don't want to see what the big deal is. If they're smart, they'll just let they'll just let him run around there. If he does run around, if well, that's what I say. If they're not smart and stay around to see what happens. Oh, that's a real bad idea. Real bad. I think the ship has sailed, though. The last thing I want to do is go wandering into a situation that we don't understand. You know what? They can take care of themselves. They know what they're doing. Yes, but imagine what Gallus' solution is going to be. He took his horse with him. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's switch to, um... Does <laughs> <Switching. laughs> he change? <laughs> Switching to deflector screen. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me open the campaign to Acropolis. Now, this is the day. You got them all firmly set up, and, uh... Um, I want to see where they firmly set up... Uker. Oh, boy, here we go. Uh, how many uses of the stones did you do? So, Galath, Lemmy, and Uker. We need at least, we need two. We'll use Ukers on our way there. Okay. And then who else? I'll use Joker. mine. And then Galath, that'll, that'll do, because Galath can bring, uh, himself and his horse. So I've got mine. And one person, and then somebody else has to use theirs. Okay. So Uker and Galath are used, you guys then, uh, um, Lemio has the portal key to to Bavillion, and um, is is there a can we just how long do I have to wait between activating the Pavilion door? Do you know what I mean? Like I activate it, we go through. Can I activate it and quickly come out again? I'm not planning on doing that. I'm just wondering, like, is there a time that I have to wait? Uh, you've seen the portal how open long for stay open, I think, for the about um, ten to thirty seconds. Okay. And I need a ten sender miniature on this map. Uh, okay, where do you guys go when you're on Acropolis? Let's go to the dungeon. Oh, I assume we're gonna put him in the dungeon. Has ten sender never been on this map? Yeah, I'm seeing Lamry. Weird. Um, yeah, it's a new place for ten cents. Excuse me, sir. I believe that is treasure horse you're speaking of. Hey, hey, <laughs> treasure horse. <laughs> <laughs> for those that have just tuned in who might not know the treasure horse joke, what's the treasure horse joke? Uh, there was a dragon horde, and we had no conveyance, and we had to move a dragon horde and a dead horse. So we put the treasure horde on the dead horse, and then dragged the dead horse out of Came the dungeon. Treasure horse. Therefore, it was treasure horse. That horse saved your life. And it carried my treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Till the end. Life saving end, treasure sir. horse. Okay. It's a long name. <laughs> so, um, you arrive uh, Lemio, Galath, Tensender, and Uker. Um, mm -hmm. Landing in the cornfields is Iximus Kala, who seems to have been watching as you guys. Uh, Who knows that you're coming here because of bad things? She does a flyby of like Uker's head first, and then lands in the cornfield. It didn't quite hit your head, but it. She definitely did swoop down to have a really close look at, at the group of you. She's looking at Uker. When is he supposed to change? When does the morning fall? We don't no no to be honest with you, I'm not sure. If this is a normal place, I would say sometime in the evening. 
but we're not. We don't know what the moon cycle is here. 